what tours are like in North Korea. Planning a trip to North Korea, keep in mind that you won't be able to travel independently. That's a one-way ticket to espionage. You'll have to join an authorized tour group. North Korea is a tightly controlled environment, so it's best to follow the rules and avoid asking questions. Here's everything you need to know. North Korea is the world's most secretive state. It's also one of the worst dictatorships. There are no statistics available for its economy, but famine is a constant threat. People eat what they can find, but tourists still want to get a glimpse of this rogue state. The US strongly warns not to travel to North Korea, but multiple tour operators still offer such services. Young Pioneer Tours is one of them. The company offers low-budget tours to North Korea, Iran, Iraq, and Eritrea. Despite what you may hear, it is safe to travel to North Korea. That's what their website says. Not every national is allowed to visit North Korea. South Koreans are prohibited from entering. Israelis, Americans, Britons, and Japanese may encounter difficulties. YPD takes everyone but Americans and South Koreans. They do group tours that start and end in China. You can fly by plane or take a train from Beijing to Pyongyang. There are also ultra-budget tours. They are the cheapest tours of North Korea. They begin and finish in Dandong. This Chinese town borders North Korea. Tour prices range from $430 to over $2,200. Upon arrival, the guide will take your passport. Border officials may also take away your cell phone. You won't get it back until you leave. You won't receive any insight into North Korean life either. The tour will be thoroughly orchestrated. There will be designated sites and approved stores. Tourists will only be allowed to talk to official guides. Whatever you do, don't break any of the rules. Act respectfully around images of North Korean leaders. Don't attempt to talk to North Korean citizens. Don't take photos unless instructed to do so. Breaking any of these rules can land you in prison for espionage. Remember the saying, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. So, what sites does North Korea have to offer? One of them is the Arch of Triumph in Pyongyang. The famous monument is bigger than Arc de Triomphe. It stands 197 feet high and 164 feet wide. It was built to honor Kim Il-sung in 1982. The Pyongyang Central Zoo is open to animal enthusiasts. Here, visitors can see elephants, fish, and reptiles. The zoo's museum has life-sized dinosaur models. Tourists can see the Arch of Reunification and Kim Il-sung Square. YPD also arranges marathons through the streets of Pyongyang. But beware, visiting North Korea is very risky. In 2015, Otto Warmbier took a three-day trip with YPT. As he was leaving the country, he was arrested. He was charged with committing a hostile act against the state. Warm Beer admitted to trying to steal a propaganda poster. He was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor. He spent 17 months in prison. He returned home in a coma and soon died, aged 22. His father is sure his son was tortured 